Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Lumia and my name is Claire Summer. I'm going to be doing your pick a card reading today. And today we are, this reading is for all my singles out there who want to find out what is next in their love life. So this is a love forecast for all singles uh, to find out what's happening next in love. Okay, so that's what we're going to be talking about today in this pick a card reading. Um, I just want to thank all my Lumies, all my lovely subscribers. Thank you for being part of this community. And thank you to everybody who has uh, made offerings through the energetic exchange. I am sending you all a big hug, so thank you so much for that. Um, just a little bit of business, I just want to talk to everybody. You can fast forward to the timestamps if you want to, but if you want to know the news of what's been going on in Lumiere, then I will just let you know. I know that some of you have been very disappointed that I haven't been able to do personal readings recently, and the reason is because I have been writing a book for you all. Um, it's a book about love and relationships and how to attract love using feminine energy. So it's for everybody out there, regardless of gender, who feels that they are more feminine and are looking for somebody more in their masculine energy. Okay, so uh, that's what the book is about. I'm really, really pleased how it has turned out. Um, I'm really proud. It's taken me a good few months to write this book. It's called Love Academy. And uh, yeah, it's all about uh, how to magnetize someone into your life using attraction from that yin and yang energy, that masculine and feminine energy, and how they become very magnetic uh, when we flow um, into that energy and we can attract that opposite into our lives. Anyway, it's super exciting. I just wanted to let you know what was happening. So yeah, hopefully when that is all finished, then I'll be able to offer personal readings. But in the meantime, um, I'm still working on this book. Um, I'm hoping to be able to reveal the front cover to you soon in uh, another reading coming up soon so yeah that's what's happening but I will keep you posted and let you know um, you know when this book is coming out because it's all about love and relationships and communication and uh, dating tips and just uh, all amazing good stuff so I'm really really excited about that okay um, what else? Okay, so we're doing this pick a card reading. Just uh, let you know, as usual, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you find this reading, you might find, find excuse me, that there is a message here for you. And um, uh, but if it doesn't resonate, then just know it's a general reading. It's all cool. Just feel peaceful. Find the message that does resonate with you. All right. Um, and remember, do check out my range of guided meditations and affirmations, which are available to you to help you raise your vibration, feel amazing, and overcome any blocks and challenges that you have to love and money in your life. Okay. People have been getting such good results with those. But with that, uh, let's get started. This is a reading for everybody who picked group number one. I'm really excited about doing this reading today. I feel like my energy is really up. Um, I feel really positive today. I feel brilliant. So, and I hope you do too. Um, so this is for all my singles out there. We're going to find out what's happening next for you in love and in your love life. So for everyone who picked group number one, we have the card Star Mother. I am aware that my camera never focuses. I just don't have one of those posh cameras that does that. So I apologize. Um, this is from the Work Your Light Oracle deck. We have Take a Chance on Love from the Whispers of Love Oracle deck. We have The Answers You Need Are Coming, Full Moon in Gemini uh, from the Moonology deck. The card, he beautiful card, Heaven on Earth from the Universal Love Oracle deck. This is my new Oracle deck um, called the Gaia Oracle deck. And this is Ocean of Eternal Love. We have the card Family, Five of Swords. Six of Swords, Knight of Wands, the High Priestess. We love to see the High Priestess in reading. Eight of Swords, a lot of Swords energy here. And another one, Queen of Swords, and the card Confidence from the Wild Offering Oracle deck. These are the cards uh, with this picture on the back. Okay? Let me take a look at these energies for you. Get comfortable. All right, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about all the Swords energy because I see like a progression and I can kind of see. Uh, you know, what's been going on for some of you in group one. So we have this five of swords. So I see that maybe you've had a person recently, maybe they're still in your life. Maybe it's on again, off again, and there's been this simmering resentment. Um, you don't understand each other. It's been very difficult, I sense. I sense that the energy has got quite low vibrational. It's got quite nasty in some cases, or just very painful is what I'm 
feeling in my heart with all these swords, just this very painful energy. I'm sensing a lot of loss and disappointment here as well. I just think you had high hopes for somebody and it just, you know, it's soured. This is what I'm hearing. The relationship is soured. It was once very good. It once had a lot of potential. And now you're not understanding each other. You're not communicating. I sense that, you know, you're struggling to, um, you know, make things work and make each other understand where you're coming from. So I definitely sense that with this Five of Swords energy. And then we're moving on to the Six of Swords. So there's a progression here. So I see you moving on from a loss. And it is with a heavy heart. You know, I don't really like the energy of this Six of Swords energy in this card. You know, you are, uh, you know, there is sorrow here. You are leaving behind something that you uh, believe to have a lot of potential. And I see that this is causing you, um, with this Eight of Swords energy, um, I feel like some of you will feel like you'll never meet anybody who you feel this way about again. I feel that some of you are really uh, stuck in the energy of the past. I feel like you're unable to move on. I know that you want to move on. Like, you know that it's for your best and highest good, but you just, you're sort of unable to. You're unable to stop thinking about this person. Um, I'm hearing the word regret as well. So I feel like there's some regret here for some of you in that, uh, you know, maybe you broke up with them and you feel like it wasn't the right thing to do or that you, sh you should have done something differently. I feel that this is going around in your mind. If only I'd said this, if only I'd done this, if only this hadn't happened. Um, if only I'd you know, not, not lost my temper here in this situation and then we wouldn't be in this situation. So I do feel there's a lot of past energy that you're working through, but you're moving out of this time of loss. The energy is shifting, the vibration is rising and you're moving towards um, a higher vibration, better energies, and better times. Okay, so what you're experiencing now, if you you know if this is resonating with you, um, you are processing this. This is uh, you know a process of uh, just going through. You know you've got to feel it to heal it. This is what I'm getting. So it is coming up and out. Sometimes that is painful, but you are going to feel better and you are feeling better. It's going to happen very quickly as well, but this energy is going to shift and it's going to transform. Okay, I see you getting help here as well. So it may be that, you know, you get some support from a counsellor or something like this, or it may be just that you talk to a trusted friend, um, but something is going to really help you to shift out of this energy. And I just feel it's going to be to do with you connecting with another person. To really, and that's going to give you a greater understanding of what has transpired between uh, you both in your past relationship or in the past or in your past romantic situations. And that this is going to help you to come unstuck from this Eight of Swords energy and this sort of feeling hopeless, feeling trapped, feeling like you don't know what to do next, you don't know whether to try again with this person and move forward, you don't know how to move forward. These sorts of things, these are the messages that I'm getting. Okay, so we have the High Priestess here. I see, you know, a time, of, and we have this card, Star Mother, which is very similar to the Empress card in the Tarot. So I see more fruitful times coming for you. I see you being able to invest in your romantic life and that bearing fruit, okay? And, you know, this is a really positive thing that's happening for you. I feel like you've forgotten who you are. And I see that you're going to remember who you are. You're going to really feel authentic. You're going to be get, coming to an energy where you're much more grounded and centered. So rather than feeling confused and trapped, you're going to have a strong sense of who you are and what you want to do next. And that is what's coming for you here. I see beautiful healing energy coming in, which is going to transform your situation and transform this heavy heartedness that you have right now. So graceful healing energy is coming in for you. Definitely. Okay, so I think that's, um, you know, and the High Priestess is really about inner knowing. So do trust yourself. You know, I feel like you don't know what to do or where to go, but the answers are within you. So get into the silence. Get into that quiet space through meditation, 
or journaling or being in nature and you will find the answers within you about what to do in your situation you know whether there's something that's dragging on or whether the past is haunting you you are going to know what to do to be able to shift that energy out of you and move forward the answer is within you your angels and guides are supporting you at this time okay so the thing that's coming out of your past experiences is that you're going to have much better boundaries with this Queen of Swords energy. So what you've learned from this situation, you know, and again, you've learned who you really are, what you're really, really about, what you really want, and what you are prepared to put up with, and what you're not prepared to put up with. So I see you from now on speaking your sacred truth, speaking the truth of what is in what is within you you know not trying to be that cool person who's just going with the flow really just saying this is who i am take it or leave it i just saw 11 11 when i saw that it's very interesting okay so again this is a card about authenticity but i see you speaking up more about what it is that you want you're getting very clear about what you want from a person a romantic relationship and i see you being able to speak your truth um, with those around you. It may be that you speak your truth with this person who's hanging on or this person from the past and that's what gives you the clarity to move forward. But I also see that you'll be able to have this clarity and this clarity in word. Word is bond, okay? Word is bond, okay? You speak your reality into existence with your word. So be impeccable with your word. Be impeccable with your speech. This is what I'm hearing. But I see you being able to communicate very well about what you want and just, um, you know, being unapologetic about that. And that's really going to make a difference for you, okay? Now, I see um, greater confidence coming in. So again, you know, we have this Star Mother card and the confidence. Again, it's about getting grounded, getting centered, feeling good in yourself. So if you feel like you're not good enough, that this that your past experiences have affected your self-esteem and your self-confidence, if you have been made to feel not good enough, or you made yourself feel not good enough in some way, or just the energy of this situation has created those feelings within you, just know that this is changing for you now. Okay, confidence is going to rush in with this new clarity and you're going to feel really good about yourself. You're going to feel okay about getting out in the world. Okay, so we have um, Gemini's energy is here represented as well. Um, we have, uh, this is a full moon card and with this Gemini energy and this Knight of Wands energy, I see you having a lot of romantic options. So I see you getting back out there. I see you being able to have the pick of the bunch. Um, and this is all due to your own magnetism, to you feeling confident in yourself, being able to sort of pull your socks up, really get out there and shine your light brightly and who you really are. And then you'll attract the people who are meant for you. So I see you having, uh, doing a lot of flirting, doing a lot of dating, something quite um, light-hearted. I feel that um, dating and romance is going to start to feel fun again for you, which I think is going to be a welcome relief and a big, big change to the experiences that you have been having recently. Okay, so I see you doing lots of dating and flirting and it being really good fun for you, okay? Um, so that is good. I see also that as a result of that, it's going to raise your vibration. It's going to create better feeling energies within you, which is going to uh, perpetuate better experiences. Okay? And as a result of that, I see something out of this pick of the bunch that you've got. Somebody is going to be very keen on you. And we have this card, Take a Chance on Love. So I think maybe you're just thinking, well, I'm just having a good time. But there is somebody in this group of people or somebody that you're going to meet on this journey who is more serious. You may not recognize it straight away because I feel like you're not going to be 100% uh, in that headspace, in that area. But as you get to know them, you will feel love develop. And I think that's very healthy. It's not gonna be like this love at first sight. It might be lust at first sight, but the love and the friendship and the stability is gonna develop over time. Because we have this card, ocean of eternal love. 
and we have this card heaven on earth so again beautiful graceful healing energies and a really beautiful meaningful and long-lasting love coming in as a result of these connections that you're making and a result of your increased confidence and are you getting out there and meeting I see you meeting a wide variety of people and that giving you a better idea as to what it is you're really looking for and you just think no that's not for me but that is for me and out of those people somebody is going to be very significant to you and they're going to create a beautiful future with you okay so but it will be up to you then i think it may trigger some of these past emotions these past fears of what might happen but spirit is just really saying trust in your authentic self uh, you know, trust in that little voice within you which knows the truth because, you know, and take a chance on this connection because it's going to bear fruit, um, it's going to be very long lasting, it's going to be very meaningful and feel very nourishing, this is what I'm hearing, it's going to feel very nourishing for you. Okay, but that's in the slightly longer term, so in the shorter term, over the next sort of six weeks, I see, you know, this fun and this romance coming in and then longer term, this is going to develop for you over the next sort of six months. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, that's everything that I have for you today. I hope that reading was beneficial for you. And uh, thank you so much for spending your time with me. It's been my honor to read your cards as always. It's been a really lovely reading. Um, you're always in my thoughts. So yeah, I'm thinking of you at this time. And um, yeah, do check out my collection of guided meditations and affirmations for helping to raise your vibration and dissolve any blocks that you have to love and abundance so that you can invite those into your life and manifest with ease. Okay, so do check those out if you feel called to do so. But have an amazing week, and I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere. So you take care now. Goodbye. This is the reading for everybody who picked group number two. It's great to see you today. I'm going to have a look at these energies and see what is happening next in your love life and see what's going to be, uh, what spirit has to say and what messages we have about your next relationship. So we have the card Spiritual Connection from the Whispers of Love Oracle deck. We have the card Sacred Union from the Universal Love Oracle deck. We have... Pillars of Light from the Work Your Light Oracle deck. Don't Let the Past Hold You Back from the Moonology deck. We have Six of Pentacles. We have the Strength card, Ten of Pentacles, the Chariot. We have the Chariot again represented here. We have the card Be You. We have this beautiful card Rising Above from the Gaia Oracle deck. And we have this beautiful card, True Love. Will it ever focus? No, sorry. From the Wild Offering Oracle deck. So I'm just going to take a look at these energies and see what we have here for you. So I see you really... I, the, I, Sorry, I'm getting a lot of messages all in one go. Essentially, I see you coming into your own in the next few months. I see you really getting, uh, you know, feeling very confident in yourself and a lot of success for you in every area of your life. I see you overcoming adversities and being able to find the solutions to your problems in life quite easily. I'm hearing the words winning at life, so I just see the next few months is gonna be a really good time for you uh, with a lot of positivity where you feel like the world is your oyster, you feel like you can really take on the world, you feel like um, you're not letting things get you down. I'm not saying there aren't gonna be problems in life because there's always problems in life, but you're just able to navigate life very well, okay? I see that here. Um, you know, this is a card of authenticity. I see you really being true to yourself and what you want. I see you having a very clear direction as to where it is that you're going next in your life, okay? So we have this card, don't let your past hold you back. And I'm definitely getting that sense with this strength card that you are really prepared to let go of any of those past energies now which are no longer serving you. You are letting go of everything that is no longer serving you and you are just 
plowing forward with this chariot energy into a bright new future. I hearing the word opportunity over and over, so I just think you're going to be getting a lot of opportunities coming in for uh, work situations and in your romantic situation. Okay, so whatever's bit that has been going on for you in your romantic life, if things haven't been going out, um, going very well for you, or if um, you've been struggling or things have been very painful, I see you really being able to cut through that now. We have this card um, with this beautiful image on it of rising above. So I see peace coming to you. I feel the energy is changing. I feel that you're going to feel very strong in yourself. I think you're going to have absolutely no time for anybody who is not in alignment with you or who wants to mess you around or play games or uh, bring you down in any way. I just think you are, I'm hearing the word single focused. You are absolutely single focused on what you want. I'm hearing that you don't want to waste any more time. So I'm sensing that for some of you, you may feel like you've been wasting time in a relationship or with somebody or with what you've been doing and you've it's been fruitless and you've not been getting results and you have had enough okay so this is what I see for you I see you rising up I see a lot of expansive energy here we've got this rising above energy and then we have this pillars of light which says your vibration is rising you are the oracle okay so these are all expansive energies these are energies of change of possibility of opportunity and of that high vibration you know that high vibrational person that people really want to be around that people really want to get to know they want to be like who is that person I want you know what they've got I want you know what's going on with them I want to be part of their world makes you very magnetic okay so I see that here and then you know with this chariot which is represented twice for you very significant and the strength card these are all cards of overcoming adversity okay so whatever difficulties you've been having you are going to overcome them with grace and ease. You're going to know what the solutions are. You're going to know what um, you need to do to solve these problems, okay? And um, you're prepared to put the work in. I see you working very hard in all areas of your life. I'm hearing the word goals, okay? I just know that you're very motivated to achieve your goals in these next few months okay they could be financial goals or they could be romantic goals but you're really going at it with a plan okay without um rather than just oh i'll just see what the universe throws at me i just see you planning and manifesting you know i see you getting that vision board i see you uh you know scripting your future and what it is that you want i see you making a list of all the characteristics that you want in your divine soulmate and then taking the steps that you need remember it's action combined with belief equals miracles and that's what i'm seeing here for you okay I, you know this single focused energy i see you going out there and deciding that you want to meet your soulmate deciding that uh, you know, you want what you want your love life to look like. And it is this clarity and this clear focus which is going to get the results that you want. There's a lot here about balance as well with the Six of Pentacles. And then also the Chariot is about balance. It's about balancing the head and the heart, which is what we've been talking about, having that emotional-centered, emotional, -centered, emotional uh, belief Sorry, the sun has come out and now everything's really bright. Um, uh, yes, I'm sorry if the light keeps changing for you. Hopefully that's not too distracting for you. So you've got this balance coming in. So if, if things have felt unbalanced, if you felt like you've been in a, re a relationship where it hasn't been 50-50 for you, okay, where you know, you've been putting in the lion's share of the work, the lion you know, where maybe it's been 80-20, I just think you're going to have this beautiful realization of a true and healthy relationship. It's always 50-50. It's that beautiful infinity loop of you putting in the energy and then that energy being reciprocated. You know, these are all energies of reciprocation here that I'm seeing. And with this chariot, this balance of the head and the heart energy coming in for you. 
um, and you being able to navigate that quite well, of you being able to balance uh, this heart-centered feelings and taking practical action to manifest what you want. So I see you, um, you know, doing what it takes, you know, doing the online dating or saying yes to your friend who wants to um, hook you up with somebody and, you know, going on a blind date and, you know, you're really putting yourself out there and doing those things and those things bringing excellent results for you, you know, because you know, both these cards, we have this card, Be You, and the Strength card are cards of authenticity. So I see you just being very strong in yourself and knowing who you are and not being a feather for each wind that blows. And, you know, or maybe I want a bit of this, maybe I want a bit of that, or maybe I'll try this person. I just see you being, you know, getting up in the morning and being very focused about what it is that you want to achieve. And if that is that you want to achieve meeting your soulmate and really getting real, uh, getting serious, not wasting any more time about what you want, then you know this is what you're going for. And the results of these energies is a beautiful connection because we have here sacred union and we have spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Yeah? And we have this card, True Love. So there's so much positivity here for you. There's so much. There is a significant connection on the horizon for you. But it is a result of you in this chariot energy of kind of driving your life forward. Of, you know, being motivated and overcoming your stagnation. And overcoming... Um, you know, your past energies. I just see you saying, I'm not going to drag what has happened to me in the past and these bad experiences or these unhealthy uh, experiences into my future. And I see you drawing a very clear line in the sand and saying, that is no longer for me. And I'm not going to carry that in my energetic frequency. And a result of that is that you are divinely rewarded with a divine connection, with a soulmate connection, or, you know, you know, I'm hearing the word twin as well, with this balance. So perhaps even a twin flame. You know, if your relationships in the past have been unbalanced, this energy of the chariot is all about a 50-50 balance, you know, and again with the six of pentacles, it's about a 50-50 balance of you and another person, both putting the work in to create something which is really successful, which is um, going to drive forward and that has got a really positive future. So I see true love coming in for you as a result of your own actions, as a result of you not wanting to be a victim anymore and taking control, taking responsibility um, for your love life and every area of your life. And this brings a lot of success for you. So a spiritual connection of somebody that you may have met in a past life or that you have a soul contract with is coming for you in the next, I'm hearing, three months, okay? And somebody, uh, you know, sacred union, someone that you connect with on a really deep level and uh, can really nourish you, okay? And I see, like, true, true love. You know, this is a real emotional connection. This is a real spiritual connection. And um, it's very beautiful, Okay, and in the future for you, um, out of all this, we have this Ten of Pentacles. So I see this connection has got long-term potential, and I see that it has a lot of success. I see this person might be successful financially as well and be financially quite stable and good with money. But they are also looking for what you are looking for, this um, uh, you know, long-term potential uh, something meaningful, not just a fling, not just a bit of fun. They're looking for somebody to have that beautiful connection with and to share their life with. And that's what I'm seeing here for you. So I'm seeing that special person coming in for you and that they um, have the emotional maturity to understand what it takes to make a relationship work on a practical level in the 3D world. 
um, as well. So it isn't just all woo woo, it isn't just all about the emotions and the emotional connection. You've got that grounded energy here as well, which I think makes it very well rounded and very healthy for you. Okay, so in conclusion, I see you um, feeling stronger in yourself, leaving those past energies behind and really being determined to manifest what it is that you want and taking practical action um, towards making that happen. And as a result of that, um, that's going to result in a really, really lovely new connection. Um, who's going to make you feel really good? It's going to feel really good to be in this connection and to meet this person. They're going to enrich your life and you are going to enrich their life because it's all about this balance. Okay, I feel that you've also learnt as well, you know, some of the lessons that you've had from your past experiences is about some more of those practical actions that you need to take in making a relationship work in reality with all those responsibilities and, you know, all these things that can really wear down a relationship. So I feel like you've learned a lot about kind of what it takes to make a relationship work on a practical level and that you are ready for that now. You're ready for that and you are coming into alignment. There's a lot about right alignment here with this chariot energy and this focus. Okay? So yeah, beautiful high vibrational energies here for you and a lot of positivity coming in for you at this time, okay? Um, that's everything that I have for you today. I hope that this reading has been beneficial for you. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you feel called to, then do check out my collection of guided meditations and affirmations to help to raise your vibration and overcome any blocks to love and abundance that you feel that you may have within you that are stopping you from um, creating the life of your dreams. People have been getting writing to me to say that they are really enjoying them and that they've been getting really good and really fast results with those so it's helping to reprogram the subconscious mind with new positive beliefs okay but uh, yes thank you so much enjoy your week have an amazing week and um, connect with me down in the comments I love to hear what's going on with you down down in the comments and you know what's going on with you in your lives and I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere take care now goodbye Hey everybody, this is the reading for everybody who picked group number three. So let's find out what messages Spirit has for you and what is going to happen in your love life and what is next in love for you. Okay, so we have the beautiful Ace of Cups here. We have Nine of Cups. We have the Magician. I love this imagery from the Fountain Tower. We have the card Take a Break from the Work Your Light Oracle Deck. We have Embrace Your Emotions from the Whispers of Love Oracle Deck. We have the card Feeling and Form. We have the Four of Wands. We have Three of Cups. We have You're Very Close to Achieving Your Goal from the Moonology Deck. We have the Golden Path from the Universal Love Oracle Deck. We have Intuitive Communication from the Gaia Oracle Deck. This is a new Oracle Deck that I just started using and I'm just so inspired by it. It's so lovely. And we have this card, Solitude. Okay, so let's see what we have for you here. The sense that I'm getting is not pain. Just, you know, we have this card, Solitude. I feel like some of you have been on your own for quite a long time. I feel that some of you... Even if you've been in a relationship, you felt like it was lonely and like you were doing the relationship on your own. And that's what I feel has happened for you in the past or the recent past, you know. And I just get this sense of um, melancholy. That's the word that I'm getting, just of melancholy, just, you know, just like um, of wondering if the best is behind you and of just being a little bit heavy hearted. I don't feel intense emotions. I just feel like a, um, with this group, there's just a little bit of sadness in the mix for you. And that that is maybe what you've been experiencing. So, you know, we have this card, embrace your emotions. So I feel that maybe um, you need to do a little bit of work on yourself and not resist those emotions. I feel like for some of you, you're thinking, oh, I shouldn't be feeling like this, or I should be over this by now, it's been so long, or, you know, you're still holding on to something 
um, from the past that was quite a while ago. Um, but you don't need to make yourself wrong in this experience, okay? All of your emotions are valid, all right? So, and I also sense that some of you have been feeling loneliness, you know, that's sort of due to a lack of connection, you know, so it may be that you're dating or you've been in a relationship, you're just not getting the, uh, your needs met, you know, you're not getting that deep connection which you crave, you know? Excuse me, and I, yeah, I see that here, but for some of you, it may be that you've been on your own for quite a long time, or you know, you've been in little bits and pieces of relationships and they haven't really got off the ground. So, you know, I see that there is melancholy attached to your current circumstances, and that's how you're feeling at this time, okay? So, but you know. We have this card, the golden path. So I feel now that you are going in the right direction and that everything that you have experienced is, um, you know, part of your journey and is part of the tapestry of your life and is part of making um, your character and who you are. Okay, you have learned lessons from these experiences which you are now going to be able to take forward and will result in success for you. So I see you going in a new direction and being able um, to be successful in your romantic relationships. Okay, which I think is really interesting. I see a lot of happiness coming in for you in the next few months because we have this beautiful card, Take a Break. And we have the Three of Cups. So I see celebrations coming in for you. You know, maybe you're going to be spending some time with your family or friends, um, going to events, going to festivals, going to weddings, you know, really being with your family or your soul family and just living it up a little bit, taking a bit of downtime and just knowing, stepping away from your work, stepping away from your responsibilities and being able to have that opportunity to really let your hair down and have some fun and that this is well deserved. And the beautiful thing about this now is that I see that as a result of doing this, it's gonna raise your vibration. It's gonna make you more magnetic. But I see as a result of these being very sociable, saying yes, to opportunities and events, that you will meet somebody new as a result of getting out there a little bit more, okay? So, you know, do say yes to those invitations. Do try something new and get out of your comfort zone. Do sign up for that class or course that you've really been wanting to, um, or that group or that activity that you've really been wanting to do, because as a result of doing that, you're going to meet somebody quite special in the near future. So I definitely see that happening for you, which I think is really exciting. Now we have this card, the Magician, and I'm sensing that, and we have this Nine of Cups. So together, I'm just wondering if some of you in this group are trying to manifest a specific person. Okay, I see that for some of you, you may have already met this person. We have this card, Intuitive Connection. So this person that we're talking about now, who you may be meeting in the near future, or they may have crossed your paths, but you do feel this connection with them. You know, you do get this sense that something is going on with them. Uh, you know, that there's more the, to this connection that meets the eye, you know, that there is something going on, you know, maybe they haven't given anything away about how they feel, but you're just getting this sense from looks and from being in their energy when you meet them, that there is something going on and that there is that little spark of attraction there. So I sense that this person who may have crossed your path or is coming into your life in the near future is somebody that you can connect with on a spiritual level. You may have known them in a past life, um, it may be a soul contract, but there is this beautiful ability to be able to connect with them without words and to be able to understand each other without words that you have with this person. And I think that is really beautiful. But also this is a reminder to listen to your intuition in the next few months when it comes to which way 
to go, which way to follow, you know, where to find this person who's coming into your life. So trust those little niggles, those little gut instincts that you have, and that will lead you to being in the right place at the right time for you to find love. You know, I'm seeing a lot here about divine timing, and I'm seeing a lot here about manifestation. So I think I mentioned with these cards, I'm seeing that for some of you, you are trying to manifest a specific person because this is about a wish coming true and this is about your own empowerment with the magician card your own empowered nature okay so your manifestation is your skills your abilities are very strong now you are coming into right alignment you're leaving this solitary loneliness behind in favor of you know, more opportunities to connect. This is what I'm hearing. You're getting more opportunities to connect with like-minded people, with your soul tribe. And in your soul tribe, your soul family, you will find this person that you have been searching for for a lifetime. But your manifestation skills are very strong now. So do what it you connect with, you know, that you resonate with when it comes to manifestation. You know, maybe it's doing affirmations. Maybe it's scripting your own reality. Maybe it's um, doing full moon rituals, something like this. I'm definitely sensing that that is going to result in really good results for you. Uh, particularly something about the full moon okay I'm seeing that here you know and then we have this hard feeling and form so you know again this speaks of manifestation of you being able to take what it is that's in your heart your des true desire and create it in your reality and you are coming into alignment with that now you know I see wishes coming true for you I see success happening for you uh, in this ability to be able to do that. So, you know, get clear about that, what it is that you want to experience, to feel in your romantic life. You know, not just those practical things of how much money they earn or what job they do or where they live, but, you know, what is it that you want to feel when you're with them? And also, you know, those more subtle characteristics that they have you know about their own character you know you need to make sure that you choose someone who's free for connection because otherwise if they're not free then you will never be free okay and you need to you know choose someone who's kind choose someone who's emotionally healthy make sure you have these things uh, on your list on your wish list you know these can often go um, un unnoticed or that you don't you know you, you don't think to mention them but these are the foundation these are important um this is very much be careful what you wish for with this card okay so be specific about what you wish for really get into those feelings and don't overlook anything you know be specific and then leave it up to the universe to provide that for you okay so but your manifestation skills are strong now i do feel like you can manifest what it is that you want because you have this, you're very close to achieving your goal. So if you've just been feeling like, I've been doing all this work on myself, I'm trying my best, I'm putting myself out there, I feel like I'm open, I feel like I'm doing things, I'm not getting the results that I want to get, and now is the time. Okay, I'm hearing the word release because we've got this card, take a break. So you um, state your intention and then release it to the universe because you're so close now. You are really close. The energy, it's all there, um, just waiting to be downloaded, waiting it's at the, uh, to be downloaded into your experience. You know, the universe is ready to give you what it is that you desire in your heart and what it is that you are resonating with at this time. Okay, and what it is that the universe wants to give you is new love and stability. So, you know, if you feel like, uh, you know, your past experiences in love haven't really been as fruitful as you wanted, haven't really given you that sense of safety or kind of knowing, you know, if you just felt like you didn't really know where you were at with that connection. I see somebody who is really solid coming in for you, offering you true love, offering you deep connection and emotion. The person that you're going to meet wants the same as you to create a stable future. 
Okay, there's a lot here as well about family with this Four of Wands and this Three of Cups, you know, soul tribe, soul family, um, actual family as well. So it may be that you meet this person through a family event or it may be that you meet somebody as a result of um, being, you know, somebody in your family who introduces you. Okay, a friend of someone who you're related to, something like this. So I'm seeing that indicator, but your future is new love. An offer of new love is coming in for you. I'm feeling it as very honest, as very pure, as very healthy and well-meaning. This person is emotionally available. They're emotionally available to you and they want to offer you something serious. Okay, so that is what is coming in for you. It may be that you've already met this person and, you know, with this intuitive communication, you may already have an idea who it is. Uh, they may be on the sidelines and you don't really know, but they are going to offer you a relationship. This is what I'm hearing. An actual relationship, not just a fling, not a let's not put a label on this situation, just like a proper relationship that you can really invest in and connect with them because you are on the right path to manifesting your deepest desires. And that is you. That is a result of you and what you are creating in your own life. I see that you've done the work on yourself. I see that you've made those energetic shifts already. So it's just this very last energetic exchange, energetic um, change that is going to bring these to you for this beautiful foundation for the future. Okay, so this is definitely a connection which has potential, okay? And I just sense that, you know, you can really open up to this person, you can really communicate with that person very deeply and that they really understand you, okay? But I see wishes coming true, so if you've got a particular person in mind or you just want to manifest somebody who has specific characteristics and, uh, you know, specific personality, then I see that coming in for you very clearly. You know, but this is all your own energy which has created this. This is your own vibration which is matching up now to what you want. The world is your mirror and what you have created within you is going to be reflected outwardly in the material world and in your experience. So I definitely see that happening for you. But yeah, do take this break. Do, you know, schedule in some downtime, some schedule in some time just for enjoyment, okay? Step off the treadmill and enjoy your life a little bit because it's just gonna, it's gonna be the key that shifts these energies and helps you to really connect with people and then connect with this person who has a lot to offer you, okay? Right, that's everything that I have for you in this reading today. It has been my honor to read your cards as always. Please connect with me down in the comments. I'd love to hear what's going on with you in your lives. And um, if you feel called to, please check out my collection of beautiful guided meditations and affirmations to help you to raise your vibration and dissolve any blocks that you have for love and prosperity. People have been writing to me to tell me that they've been getting really, really good results uh, with uh, reprogramming their subconscious mind in this way and that it's really helping to lift their spirits and uh, you know make them feel good so and that they're sort of really getting ahead uh, with their their goals and you know what it is that they want to experience and feel in this life okay uh, but it's been wonderful spending time with you thank you so much for being with me today I'll be thinking of you and I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere look after yourselves take care Hey everybody, this is the reading for everybody who picked group number four. So I'm going to take a look at the um, cards and see what messages we have from Spirit for you regarding your love forecast in this reading. So we have Look to Your Inner Strength from the Whispers of Love Oracle deck. We have the card Healer. We have the card Boundaries from the Beautiful Work Your Light Oracle deck. We have the Four of Cups. We have the card Justice. We have death, we have the moon, we have king of swords, we have have faith in your dreams, this beautiful image from the moonology deck, we have the card dreams from the universal love oracle deck, 
We have the card Evolution from the Gaia Oracle deck. And we have the card Impatience from the Wild Offering Oracle deck. Okay, so I can see straight away for everybody who picked group number four that this is quite a complex situation and there are a lot of very complex and heavier vibrational energies in this reading, okay? So this is not going to be a lighthearted reading from what I can see from these cards. So remember, if it doesn't resonate with you, just feel peaceful and find the message that does resonate with you, okay? But I'm sensing that for... Uh, the people who this message is for, that you have really been through the mill, you have experienced, you know, and for the people who this message does resonate with, you know, that you have experienced some tough times in love and some difficulties and challenges is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing, you know, with this Four of Cups energy that you just feel that your heart space is a little bit closed, that you're a little bit closed off to the idea of new love. And to any offers of love that may come in, I feel like I'm sensing that you feel worn down. I'm, sen I'm hearing the words had enough. I'm sensing that you feel like you've had enough of whatever it is that's been happening and you feel despondent about romance and relationships and the opposite gender and all kinds of things here and just a sadness is what I see. I sense you know with this moon card that something in your recent past has been uh, you know there may have been some shady behavior you may have found out something which you didn't you know, that there was something going on that you didn't know about, maybe a third party situation or somebody just had a secret from you which has been revealed to you or that they've got a side to them that you didn't know that they had. Okay, so, you know, I feel that that is something that has been revealed to you and it's made you um, feel a little bit jaded and a little bit sad. I feel that you have a lot of fear regarding relationships and love at this time. You know, that you've got a, a lot of fears that are coming up as a result of your past experiences about your own worthiness and about, you know, sort of fears of rejection, fears of abandonment, you know, quite deep-seated things that you're dealing with here, okay? So I'm sensing that here. Um, we have these three major arcana cards with the moon, death, and justice. So, you know, again, I'm seeing, you know, this is why I'm getting the message that there's a you know there's a lot of gravitas there's a lot um going on and that this is quite significant what is happening for you this is a significant time in your life okay so with the justice card i see balance being returned to you i feel that um anything that has been taken from you unfairly or wrongly that karmically the karmic situation will return to balance it will be you know you will see karma unfolding you know for this person or for you you know the karmic lessons will be learned and karma will be rebalanced for you in the situation if you are in a legal situation i see that coming out very favorably for you so you mustn't worry about that that's all going to be really good for you if there's anything that's going through the courts or any sort of divorce or anything like that that you're experiencing uh, then this is highly favored for you and i'm sensing like a rush of high energy with that positive expansive energy it's going to be absolutely okay all right but yeah your calm karmic lessons have been learned and karma is going to you know rebalance whatever it is that's been taken from you energetically emotionally it will be restored to you in the fullness of time so do know that we have the death card so i see you letting go of what no longer serves you. I see you letting go of old patterns, old people, old circumstances and situations. I see you turning over a beautiful new leaf. You know, I really see this card, the death card, as like, um, you know, a butterfly emerging from a chrysalis. You know, this is really a time of powerful transformation for you, of coming out of these murky energies you know, this is all really murky and confused. You know, I'm seeing and sensing that there's a lot of confusion here, like you're wading through mud, like you don't feel very good, like your energy's really off. 
um, but I see you really transforming into something much better and we have this card evolution and I have very similar energies here okay very similar energies of transformation and of renewal which are happening for you in your life I feel like you're having your own like a phoenix rising from the ashes I feel like you're having your own personal transformation your own spiritual awakening in this situation you know I feel that the lessons have been learned recently are very significant for you I feel that the result of this these experiences are that you have stronger boundaries, that you know who you are, that you know what you will and will not put up with, and that these boundaries are going to be a framework for your new life, okay? And I just feel like your boundaries are going to be absolutely made from steel. They're not going to be elastic boundaries that people try and push at you and you know, try and test your boundaries. You know, when they come up against your boundaries, your boundaries will be clear. Your boundaries will be completely clear about what it is that you will and will not tolerate. And I think that's just going to be, you might not even have to express those boundaries. It's just going to be in your aura, in your energy, you know, that you are high value. You know, you are a high value person. I definitely see you coming into that energy and that you emanate that high value to those around you and to everybody that you meet, both in romantic and non-romantic situations, okay? So we have this card healer. So I see as part of your personal evolution, healing coming in for you. I see graceful, gentle energy touching the situation and I see everything being okay for you, all right? So, you know, I see healing happening for you, transformation happening for you, the energy shifting for you into something much higher vibrational. I sense, I can feel it in here, your heart being healed and you feeling much better about the future, okay? We have this card, look to your inner strength, very similar to the strength card in the tarot. So I see you being much more authentic, much more grounded, much clearer about what you want, you know, and again, that strength card, this strength energy, you know, lines up with this card of boundaries of about knowing what it is and isn't that you will put up with and that you are, you know, that you are willing to tolerate. So, you, you know, if you're doubting it, you do have the strength within you. Look within you. There is a universe within you that you can call upon. And your angels and spirit guides are supporting you at this time if it has been a difficult time for you and you are looking for hope and renewal. It is coming. It is literally on the cards for you. I have this card, Impatience. So I see that this has been dragging on now for a long time, but this transformation is coming. You don't need to wait any longer. These energies are shifting for you. So, um, you know... I see this impatience here for you. You're impatient for this change, which is good with this death card. You know, you're not leaving behind something with sorrow. You know, you're leaving behind something that you know is done and is finished. And you feel empowered to move forward with grace and with ease at this time. So I see lots of new opportunity for you. I see a personal transformation, which is going to be amazing. You're going to look back on this time and just be like, you're not even going to be able to remember how you felt because you're going to feel so good. Your energy is expansive. You are expanding into uh, grace and into you know lots of new things, new connections and stuff. So we have have faith in your dreams, and we have this card dreams as well. So you know whatever it is that you imagine for yourself, you know, which is in your highest good, is here on the cards for you. You can manifest what it is that you desire, what it is that is in your heart, you know, your deepest desires and dreams. You can manifest that and that is what is coming in for you. So be very clear about what it is that you want and just know, you know, I'm just sensing so much gentle energy and gentle grace, so, you know, of coming in and of your dreams coming true. So I see all this old stuff working through in cycles, these patterns, and you emerging out of these patterns and this murky energy and being open to new love, open to new opportunities and all those opportunities coming your way. All of this is about 
resolution and of things being resolved and that that is going to make you feel much better so that you can move forward into your life and in, uh, move forward in your romantic life in a positive way which is expansive it's going to give you the opportunity to meet new people and I'm hearing the words begin again and to start again to start fresh and to meet somebody who is more in alignment with your authenticity with your true self okay I see you meeting somebody who is you know this is a king energy so I'm seeing somebody who is emotionally mature who is available for love and this person is very logical very intellectual you know they might do something you know they're um, very well educated and will you know, they're quite measured, very good communicator. They might do something where they communicate for a living, where they're sharing some sort of message. I'm just getting a message now for you from Spirit as well, that as a result of some of these experiences that you have had in your past romantic life, with this King of Swords energy and this healer, that you may want to share your message and the things that you've learned about your own inner strength and your boundaries. You may want to share that with other people in a group setting, as part of a blog, as, you know, um, writing for something. I just see you sharing that you've learned a lesson here which is quite significant and that you want to share it with other people. You, you know, that you've got a new voice now, that you've got something that you want to speak, that you want to share your sacred truth about these experiences. And that is very significant and very powerful and that you're going to have the opportunity to do that if you feel called to do so for some of you who have picked this reading. Okay, so in conclusion, I see your own personal transformation, I see you feeling much, much better and I see you being able to create, you know, the dreams that you really want and the love life and the romantic experiences that you really desire. As a result, of these changes that are happening for you okay so that is happening you are on your own personal evolution and i see you meeting somebody who is more emotionally you know who is emotionally available and emotionally mature ready for that depth of feeling depth of relationship that you are looking for at this time okay so yeah that's the message that I have for you from spirit for you today. Um, I hope that resonated with you. I hope that, um, you know, that made sense to you in this reading, but a lot of positivity coming in for you, a lot of newness, a lot of new opportunities to meet new people, and just this great transformation of being able to leave these past energies behind for you, which I think is the most important thing to take away from this reading, okay? You will feel better. This will be transformed for you, and new people and opportunities are coming in your way. I do see that this is going to take a little bit of time to work itself out, which is why I haven't got many messages here about who it is that you are going to meet and what is next for you on this journey um, of love but I do see your personal transformation which is going to open you up um, you know in this butterfly evolutionary energy to new and good things which is going to be really wonderful, really beautiful for you, okay? That's all I have for you in this reading today. It's been my honor to read your cards as always. Please connect with me down in the comments. I love to hear what's going on with you in your lives. And, you know, I'll be thinking of you at this time. Um, do check out my collection of guided meditations and affirmations if you feel called to do so. They will help to raise your vibration and to heal you and help you to attract more love and abundance into your life. Um, the community have been, people have been writing to me to say that they've been getting such good results with these, um, help, you know, with helping to reprogram their subconscious mind with new beliefs that has really helped them to feel more positive. So that is um, really, really good news, okay? Um, but yes, have an amazing week. Uh, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere. Look after yourselves, take care now, goodbye.